Hello everybody, this is Gentex Guy here, and this is going to be a quick test of my bedroom's fire alarm system. So as usual, we have the Firelight MS2. Uh, as you can see, I have no troubles on it. Everything's normal. So let's go over the fire alarms. Above the panel, I have my Gentex Commander 3. This has been in several videos. And for this video, I have it set on 15 Candela for the strobe. And I have the horn turned off, so it's only going to be the strobe flashing. Coming over here, we follow the wires. We go to a new alarm I just got, and it's the Potter LFHS 110R. So this is a Gentex rebrand of their low frequency sounder. Um, it's fixed 110 candela, as you can see. Um, this beauty plate I have, it's kind of crooked because it doesn't fit on right, but it works. Uh, it's pretty nice, very loud. Um, so yeah, um, I have the panel set to Gentex Sync and Selective Silence. And the problem with that is that these alarms are supposed to be connected to what's called a Gentex GTSM Sync Control Module. And that allows these alarms to do either Temporal 3 or 4. However, when they're receiving Gentex Sync from my panel, it kind of screws it up a little bit. So it tries to do Temporal 3 and Temporal 4. And so, yeah. But it still works. So, yeah. But you'll hear that uh, once I set off the alarm. Over here, I still have the System Sensor i3 for WTB. So, nothing's really changed with that. And then going down here, of course, we have the Firelight BG12L. So, yeah, without further ado, let's pull it. As you see, we do have selective silence. So let's go ahead and test the i3. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver right here. And go over. There we go. Alright, so let's go reset the B12 here. Oops, need to adjust the brightness. There we go. Alright, let's give this a reset. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching, and have an awesome day.